Hola, this is Esperanza de Sandes, and we are here with Voices Latinas. We are actually, um, I've had the pleasure to be, um, be introduced to uh, Sister Barbara, Stephen, and Chelsea, who just actually, um, a couple of the students just returned from Guatemala. And so we're going to hear a little bit um, about the trip and, you know, some of their experiences. So, Sister, if you could just share with us a little bit about your experience in Guatemala and, and just kind of, you know, just give us some, some feedback on what happened. Thank you. Uh, the Guatemala experience is actually uh, one of several mission trips that we do here through Campus Ministry. And uh, for about 20 years now, we've been doing trips with Habitat for Humanity and some international outreach opportunities. So this year we went to Guatemala City to work with Valley of the Angels Orphanage, which is an orphanage run by the Franciscan Friars from um, the eastern east coast of the United States. And so we did a variety of, of things while we were there. We stayed at the orphanage, we mm -hmm. spent time with the children, and we also had the opportunity to um, go out into, the, into Guatemala City itself to do some service projects that um, the staff of the orphanage coordinated for us. And we also had the opportunity to experience how some of the uh, poorest of the poor live in Guatemala City. I've always wanted to go on a mission trip, so that is my lifelong goal. Um, so it's really inspiring to hear your guys' story today. Um, Stephen, how about you? Why don't you share with us some of the experience and what was the, 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 the one thing that maybe uh, just impacted your life, if any? I would say that staying in the orphanage, we were able to uh, play with the children a lot. And so uh, I'm a college student and I'm used to like my own room and peace and quiet right. <laughs> and sleeping in and everything. And so it was interesting stepping outside my comfort zone and waking up at so early, like 6.30 in the morning and <laughs> playing all day long. It just really took away a lot of energy, but it was also amazing to receive and give that love back to them. Um, I think sometimes uh, in giving, when you're selfless, um, there is just a true experience that comes out, right? And um, I, I can't imagine what that felt like for you guys. Chelsea, would you like to share a little bit about your experience with us? Um, I too really enjoy spending time with the children, but I also like that I got to go out and see like a ho whole different reality from my own. Mm -hmm. So that was very eye-opening to see how different is how different the difference is um, between there and where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So that was really eye-opening. So. so the children that you guys interacted with were the, was the age level just was it a huge gap or was it a specific age level? Um, they had kids was like six. Like six through eight, eighteen. And so, what were some of the projects that you worked on when you were there? Um, we did um, a Mano Amiga. Mano Amiga. Um, there, we like the all night before we prepared foods and like put them in bags to um, bring to people. Very nice. And then we went into an aldea, which is a poor kind of area. Mm -hmm. And we went to um, some houses and we brought the food to them and kind of like heard some of their story mm -hmm. and like kind of got to know like some of the people there. So that was nice. Do you think that um, through this experience your life has been changed due to maybe like the appreciation level that you, you see um, another country that is not as privileged as we are here in the United States? And has that changed how you feel about things? Has it left an impression on you? For, for me, uh, yeah, it, it definitely made me more aware. When I got back, it was kind of hard dipping myself back in American culture mm -hmm. and just like realizing that they don't have as much as you. So it was just, it's always nice to be mentally aware and thankful of, you know, every time I get like take a shower or have yes. a meal, I just always try to be thankful for that and recall those times and memories shared with. So, um, Sister Barbara, if you could just finish this off and share with us, um, is this, um, this is a, a trip that you do every year, correct? During spring break, is that correct? During spring break, we do a variety of mission trips, mm -hmm. and um, this is the first year we've gone to Guatemala. We are hoping that it will continue from year to year. Okay. I, um, I do think, as, as Chelsea and Stephen have said, it's, you know, certainly there's a great deal of need in our own country, but, but there's something about um, stepping out of our comfort zone, being in another culture, yes. um, being in that situation of not always being able to communicate well, 
and and seeing how some uh, individuals live in just horrendous situations. Mm -hmm. You know, the the homes we visited to to hear their stories and to provide them with um, a, just some limited amount of, of food. The experience of seeing a garbage dump community where individuals are making their livelihood by digging through the trash. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're all opportunities that are just, uh, I think, essential for all of us. And, and they put a face on, on the individuals from those other cultures. Um, our, yes. our hope here at Lourdes is that whenever possible, we can provide our students with those opportunities. Uh, and, and spring break mission trips are, are one of the perfect times to do that. And I just have to commend all of you. Um, you know, there are so many other ways you could spend spring break, but you chose to do a great service to others. And, you know, that I don't think is, there's probably nothing more rewarding than being a servant to others. And so, um, you know, just want to thank you all for sharing this interview with me and allowing me to understand um, the mission trip that you all were a part of. And so, um, thank you so much. This is Esperanza de Sendes, right here on Voces Latinas. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Hola, mis amigos, and thank you for accompanying us here on Voces Latinas TV show. At this time, it gives me great pleasure also to introduce to you Esperanza Resendez right here on Voces Latinas. Esperanza, ¿cómo estás? How are you? Bien. Thank you, Tony. You're very welcome. She's our newest member right here on Voces Latinas, and it was her first time, and you did a great job, by the way, thank interviewing you so the much. students. I'm sure I have a lot to learn, but I have great instructors. Oh, so. not a problem. But uh, So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? What do you do? So uh, my name is Esperanza de Sundas, and I am actually a full-time Beachbody coach. So um, I help individuals just find a, the healthiest version of themselves. Um, just, you know, try to, um, to teach others to live a healthier lifestyle. And, you know, growing up in a Mexican household, you know, we, we ate beans and tortillas and <laughs> rice. So nutrition was not uh, an important part of, of, you know, our everyday living. So uh, learning that myself and now sure. teaching others. I can relate to that growing up on tortillas yes. and frijoles. Who doesn't and love that? Tacos and pan dulce and all that Barbacoa. good stuff. Sure. But as we get older, we realize, you know, that that really was not so healthy. Correct. So we begin to work out and begin to think healthy. But maybe in the future you can uh, do some health segments. I would love to. That would be fantastic. Awesome. Well, I want to uh, welcome you to Voces Latinas TV show, and we're looking forward to you doing more things with Voces Latinas, and hopefully right here at Lourdes University as well, because Thank they, you, they Tony. have all kind of events happening here at Lourdes University. Yes. Amigos, don't forget to support Lourdes University. Tell everybody about Lourdes University, because there's wonderful opportunities right here at Lourdes. Vamos a continuar con más música caliente. ¿En dónde, Esperanza? Voces Latinas. <laughs>